A Savannah man who killed three people in a horrendous accident learned his prison sentence today. It is the final chapter in a story that began with a drive-by shooting and crash in City Market in July of 2017. WSAV News Street's Kelly Antonacci is joining us now live with our continuing coverage of the Jerry Chambers case. Tina, Judge Karp says the aftermath of that crash is one of the worst things he's ever seen. Jerry Chambers was just 17 years old at the time. That's why the judge says his life sentence comes with a possibility for parole. He turned downtown Savannah into a mass casualty zone that, that you would see almost in a war zone. Assistant District Attorney Matthew Breeden says that's why he wanted Jerry Chambers in prison for the rest of his life. On the 4th of July in 2017, Chambers was speeding away from police after a drive-by shooting that put City Market in a frenzy. He hit and killed restaurant manager Scott Waldrop. He murdered Scott Waldrop. A complete innocent bystander with a bright future. Somebody who was doing things in our community. Somebody who was just out to enjoy a good time. And prosecutors say the night could have been worse for people standing by. Those people aren't alive today because Jerry Chambers did something for them. Or Jerry Chambers took some action to save their life. They're alive because a city planner decided to put a light post on that corner. And but for that act, we would be sitting here today from what the court can remember, with probably at least three to four more innocent bystanders killed. Two people in Chambers' car were also killed. The mother of one of them, Gabriel Magulias, asked the judge to give Chambers a chance at parole. We forgive Jerry, and we know in our hearts that Gabriel does also. Chambers' defense says his young age means he can change. A lot can happen in 30 years, and you shouldn't count him out now. And Judge Karp agrees there's a chance Chambers could turn his life around in prison. Now, prosecutors say since going to jail three years ago, Chambers has been written up 28 different times. Reporting live at the Chatham County Courthouse, Kelly Antonacci, WSAV News 3 on your side.